Right, I'm starting early because um, I'm not very well up on this going live business. Um, sh so I'm just figuring it all out. Um, so we'll have to bear with me. Um, and do let me know if it cuts off. So we'll just see how we get on. Um, see, that makes me... All oh, right, we are live. Okay, right, okay. Right, so I've come on earlier than what I said because I did say half eight. Um, I'm absolutely sweating, actually. I don't know why I get panicky doing these things, you know. I've done acting since I was seven. Don't make no sense, does it? Um, but there you go. In fact, you're going to have to bear with me. I need to open the window. I'm having a hot flush. I'll be right back. Open the window. I think it's because I know I'm talking on behalf of somebody else and I'm worried that I might um, swear. My lip line has gone up on my top lip. Right, got the kettle on. Just confirming it is a brew, it's not Prosecchio. Do let me know if there's any technical problems. So, Welcome to me, myself and Bipolar Brenda. On behalf of Time to Talk, Time to Change Day. Don't even know where I'm supposed to be looking. I need Rick Carr here for self-tapes. Right, so for people that don't know, um, I'm a media campaigner for Time to Change. I think I'm looking in the right place, don't know. I feel like I'm looking at myself. Um, so basically, Time to Change um, are a growing movement of people changing how we all think and act about mental health, okay? Too many people with mental health illnesses are made to feel isolated, ashamed, worthless, but with the support from Time to Change, we're hoping that obviously we can get this growing movement to change that. Today is Time to Talk Day, okay? So as a media campaigner, um, my aim obviously with this video is to basically get people talking and um, start conversations and um, been sent some great material that I did hand out when I spoke at an event on Saturday regarding um, the Time to Talk Day. So Time to Change is an amazing charity and um, they helped me immensely in December when I was back on psychiatric ward and um, when the monster in my head um, got well, it got a bit too close for comfort and, yeah, I kind of lost the battle. So, Time to Talk is basically for us to give us an opportunity for people to encourage people to talk about mental health, to end the stigma. The more that we talk about it, the more that we do, the more that we can crush the barriers, we can break it down and we can end people feeling ashamed, isolated, worthless, like there's something wrong with them because the brain doesn't work in the same way that somebody else's does. Um, one of the main reasons why I joined Time to Change um, is because I've been victimised all my life. Um, people that might know me, people that don't, which was one of the main reasons why I decided to write a book. Um, kind of a snapback, was it really, to kind of say, well, this is who I am. Um, and, and, and you need to accept that, more so for myself. So what I'm gonna share with you is, is some material of how to start conversations with people. Because I love Time to Change and I love the people at Time to Change and everything that they've done for me. And I'm proud to be able to, to do the campaigning for them and to share their message um, and you know go to events and speak and stuff. Um, really simple things that they, they basically give out to start a conversation. We've, Luke Channel's kindly stuck some things up on the wall there for me, but I don't know if you can see them. So this is one here. Don't know if you can see that. So it basically says, would you rather be stuck in a spider's web or talk to a friend who feels trapped in their thoughts? Don't really want to be stuck in a spider's web, but I don't like spiders. So choose to talk about mental health. Okay, so ask a question and listen. Mew's gonna rub my nose. 
ask open questions. So how does that affect you? Or what does it feel like? What is it that you're going through at the moment? Do you do that? Are you, you all right? How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, me, mate. How are you? But do we actually ask people? Do we actually say to people, how how are you? Is, is everything okay? How are you feeling right now? You know, maybe when you call somebody, and I'm really guilty of this, and, you know, part of it may be a bit to do with my bipolar disorder, is do we ever say to people, are you okay to speak right now? Are you okay? Are you all right to just have a quick call? Are you, in, are you emotionally okay to, to have a conversation with me right now? Um, so even open, you know, make it really casual. Think about a time and place. Sometimes it's easy to talk side by side. Maybe it's just chatting, maybe go for a walk. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, I've had people say to me, let's just, why don't you just go out for a walk, Tasha? Let's just go and have a little walk. I'll be honest, I don't walk my dog. One of the reasons I don't walk my dog is because he's got one eye, if anybody knows, um, and he got attacked. So I'm a bit anxious um, of walking my dog. Sorry, Seb. Um, but walking is amazing. Um, and if for anybody that is suffering with mental health and wants to get on the outdoors, a really good friend of mine on here who spoke at my book launch, Will um, Gaia Events, is great for outdoor, getting yourself outdoors, getting in nature. Okay, so this is the first one that we're looking at, is about being stuck in a web, okay? So, next thing that they sent is, would you rather have the neck of an ostrich, can't even say that, or talk to a friend who's burying their feelings? How many of us bury our feelings? How many of us take things on the chin? How many of us have got things going on in our heads? and we don't wanna say when somebody says, it's like sometimes I'll walk into the gym with my trainer and you know what, my trainer is amazing. Like, you know, we should probably have a counseling and psychology degree in all fairness, not just a PT one. But he's probably one of the people who you can't lie to. You can't turn around and go, so he'll, the other day when I went in and I'm gonna speak about this in, in the moment once I've, I've spoke about obviously the time to change stuff, which is the aim of this video. Um, is to obviously, you know, get, get people talking, get people making a brew. I'm just going to have a sip of my brew as well. So, um, I'll go in, he'll go, how's you? Now, because he knows me, he knows I'll be like, yeah, yeah, everything's all right. Oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But if I go, yeah, I'm all right. And then don't say anything throughout the session, he knows. But that's because he knows me. But how many people do we... Just think about it this week. How many people have you said, how are you doing, you all right? How many people do you walk past when you, you, I mean, I don't go out that much because obviously with my anxiety, I'm a nervous wreck, but how many times do we go out, maybe walk past somebody upstairs at the gym, yeah? And we say to them, hey, how are you doing, you all right? Yeah, yeah, not bad, you. I think about them people, because I think, I wonder if they are all right. I bumped into my friend and we don't really speak that much because you know things busy lives and everything like that coming out of the gym and I was going to be late for my session but she asked how I was I just burped then sorry about that um she asked how I was and instead of turning around and going do you know what I'm all right I actually do you know what I'm not that great today this is why I'm not that great and I got it out so talking about it and I don't mean just posting shit on PR woman told me not to swear sorry swearing you know not just posting about it okay let's start moving let's start doing stuff and I'm going to tell you why in a minute back to time to change so we've got these yeah lucky Luke Chano's watching now there's my number one fan. Right, so, sussed, who knew? Would I rather explore space, A, or the deep sea? Which one? I'm gonna go with, mm, it's a tricky one for me. I'd probably go with space, but then I think I'm scared of heights. 
So, but then I can't swim very well. So I don't know if I would go with the deep sea. Um, but questions like that, it starts a conversation. The ability to fly would most make clear. How would it make you feel if you knew you could fly? Free, nervous, powerful. Mm, if you've read my book, it's probably not the best question for me. Love you, Mum. <laughs> I love you, son. Um, do you know what? You, before the book, Space Kelly Hollis. Because <laughs> we're aiming for the stars this year, Kel. That's why. Um, I think it'd make me feel free. And that's only because I've faced fears with my mental health. So that's a question. And you could get probably quite deep into that, couldn't you? If I could travel through time, I'd go back to a specific place, period, or person. People, places and things. I will do another video on that. Um, if I could travel through time, I'd go back to a specific place, period, or person. For me, I'd go back to Ibiza. Um, because that's where my soul feels really, really happy. So I'm going to take the positive out of that question. Think about that question and think what you would take, what you would go back to. Would you use that question as to change something or would you go back to relive something positive? So it's a good question to ask somebody. Which do I think holds more people back from discussing mental health? Waiting for the perfect moment, worrying they won't say the right thing, feeling awkward. Okay, so for me, I, you're the king. Um, for me, why didn't I used to talk about my mental health? So, okay, I went back to, um, when I first got diagnosed, I didn't really discuss it with anybody. And also, I never used to tell people that I meditated either, because I used to think people think I was a bit weird. Um, so I already had this thing wrong with me, but then the actual thing that was helping me, I didn't want to tell people either, because not everybody was doing it. It wasn't the norm. Um, and mm, I have to look at that question again. I think it's because I felt awkward. And I'm going back previous now because obviously I will speak openly about mental health because it needs to not just be spoke about. I'm a real big thing about this. It doesn't just need to be spoke about. We need to be doing more. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. So these are the cards, are the questions. If you want the questions and you want the cards, obviously message me after the video and I will obviously screenshot them and send them to you. Okay. Um, another question for you. Would I rather have the power to see five minutes into the future or turn time back five minutes? I'm impatient. I can't hold me on. So I would probably see five minutes into the future. Okay. Um, what would I like most about a trek across? I can't even say that word, so I'm going to leave that question out. Um, which do I believe in more? Self-belief, self-control, self-doubt. If you would have asked me this 12 months ago, I would have said self-doubt. If you ask it me now, I say self-belief and self-control. Um, but that is only because I faced myself and my illness doing the book. It was horrific. It was my talking therapy. It was my doing therapy. Um, but even so, it doesn't end. I've had stigma this week regarding my son um, and that because of my son's difficulties because he went through something um, before Christmas which was traumatic for him um, I get looked at as if his issues are because he lives with a bipolar mum borderline personality mum anxiety riddled mum yeah where actually it's not it's because he's seen something traumatic and it would have done that to anybody. But again, you know, the reason why I'm a part of Time to Change and the reason why I'm a part of this campaign, one of the main reasons for me is, is, is not just to just talk about stigma, is to end the stigma. 
you know, I was in a situation at Christmas, before Christmas, sorry, um, where if my son would have been physically attacked, it would have been a different story, but because it's had a mental effect on him, the, um, you don't get any notice, the, 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 the system letting down. Um, so when, when we're still not there, we're still not there, because, you know, I spoke to a solicitor and she was even saying to me, she was like, you know, physical, we can sue, mental, it's really difficult. I'd rather somebody smack me in the face, unless this is the truth, than have an emotional, mental effect on me. Because I can tell you now, if someone hits you, you kind of get over it, in my opinion. It's my opinion. But words and discrimination to how you are as a human being, yeah, and to made, to be made, that if you've got trauma, even taken away from the fact, you know, I'm going talking about my son at the moment, he's gone through a traumatic experience before Christmas, and it's changed his behaviour, and school didn't know what to do with it, and, but I knew what it was, and the doctor couldn't get him an urgent referral, school couldn't get him an urgent referral, early help couldn't get him an urgent referral, I take him and I get him an urgent referral within 24 hours. Reason being is because when it comes to mental health, yeah, you have to push, which I never used to do. I never used to push to get the, 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 the service and the treatment that I needed. And I'm not blaming the mental health system because it's not their fault. They're doing the best they can with the funding that they've got. But... Your mental health is important and it's going to take a lot more than me sat here talking to you, doing a live video, posting inspirational quotes and what have you. It's going to take more people taking a stand and doing something about it. I got took in hospital in December. I've had been a diagnosis of bipolar disorder for what, six years? To then see a psychologist that tells me, no, actually, you've not got bipolar, you're actually BPD off one assessment. So they can just put you onto another waiting list then. No, 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 no. If you're not happy with what that doctor's saying, you get a second opinion because you're entitled to get a second opinion. And this is what goes back to the stigma because if you're not happy with one doctor's opinion that says to you there's something wrong with your lungs or your leg, you're entitled to get a second opinion. Yeah? Always get a second opinion because they're very quick now to give labels out. And we're more than labels. And I've said this before, you know, you're a human being. Um, what's that, Nay? Not switched off since you came on. I can relate to most of what you're saying, love. Please send me them cards. I will send them to you. I will. I'll send them to you. Of course I will. Um, I'm glad it's not switched off. Um, so, yeah, time to change is huge for me because they want to end it. And they're going national now, aren't they? We're getting in the papers. So you know, I'll do another video regarding the mental health system because I could talk all day about it. So, I have to take notes, I'm sorry, because I get a bit. Right, so what's next for time to change? So after today, I got a lovely email and invite today um, to write an article for time to change for their next event, which is going to be the 24th of February. Put that into your diaries, 24th of February. See the bigger picture. So what's this campaign going to be about on the 24th is we're going to make people see the bigger picture of mental health, make people see how it feels, how people's experiences with the mental health system, people's experiences in relationships. This is going to be part of a massive, massive campaign. They're going national and they're also got, um, it's going into the metro. So when you're on the tube, tube, thinking I'm in London, um, when you're on the Met, is it the Met? Met, you get the Met, the Metro, and you get the paper. Read these people's stories. Read the people's stories that are doing stuff for time to change, that are standing up, sharing the stories and saying, look, this is how it makes me feel. I've been in a situation where this person's made me feel like this. So this is the next one that we're going for. It's going to be on the 24th of February, and it's going to be see the bigger picture. 
Um, so they're partnering up with the Metro. It's going to be a series of stories um, written by me and other campaigners. Okay, so that's going to be in the Metro. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, for anybody that wants any material, please do let me know. Things, how to start questions, how to start conversations. It's really, really important. Um, you know, things like, what would I do if a friend was experiencing a mental health problem? Listen without judging. Offer me some advice. Help them with any tasks they're struggling to do. I'm lucky I have a very good support group around me with my friends. Um, but sometimes people don't know what to do. And that is understandable because it can frighten people. L listen, when your mind switches on you, yeah, it frightens you. So it's going to frighten people around you. What would my advice be to people who are friends with somebody that has a mental health illness? It's a really, really difficult one. But I think that it is that kind of thing of, do you know what, should we just have a brew? Should we, uh, if they can't go out the house, sometimes I can't go out the house, let's get some nibbles and sit down and we'll just have a chat about things. Or take them, try and get them out. When I come out of hospital at Christmas, you know, I was terrified of stepping out. I didn't have a Christmas tree and, um, you know, I just... I was in bits, I couldn't even comprehend what was going on, like how I'd ended up back there after three years. You know, and two of my friends, they, you know, they took me out to get me a Christmas tree, they was with me, so I felt okay, I was with someone. And they took me out for food and, um, and they started getting me, you know, started helping me getting my confidence back. I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy to be friends with somebody that suffers with a mental illness because I can guarantee you it's not. I can say that from people that are around me. Um, but you know what? I'd probably say listen without judging. Because it can be it can it can be hard. It can be it can, it can be hard. Um I'm just looking at any more questions that we could have on here. Which would I feel more comfortable discussing with my closest friends? My personal finances, my mental health, my family issues. Now for somebody who is struggling with mental health, they might find it easier to talk about family issues um, or they might find it easy to say, oh, I'm really struggling this week at work, etc, etc. Uh, I don't know why I just said etc, etc, because I don't like people that use that word. And if you've read my book, you'll probably know that I don't like people who use that word. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, You've got to get comfortable talking about it. Sometimes you've got to say, you know, I'm not okay today. And then it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because people go, oh, is it because of somebody? Is it because you've been speaking to him again? Or actually, no, it's just my mind. My mind's just not, I'm not in control today. I'm not feeling good today. So, yeah. So that's time to change. We've got, I've got these. If anybody does want them, please do let me know um, that you can hand out in your workplace. I did hand them out at my book launch. Absolutely buzzing. I've got like my nails on now. Because can you imagine this if like I had two off and three on and what have you? Um, so these are these are great. These were left on my seat. Lawrence, that kindly give me my venue for my launch. Um, these were left on the seats. Oh, are Kayla's watching? Oh, Kayla, I love Kayla. Um, so. Choose to talk, change lives, time to change, let's end mental health discrimination. One in four of us will experience a mental health problem in any year. Choosing to talk about mental health, mental health breaks down barriers and can change lives. Starting a conversation doesn't have to be awkward and it could make a huge difference. Our tips will help you get started. You don't have to be an expert, you just need to be able to be there to listen. Ask questions and listen. Asking questions shows that you care and want to know what someone's really doing. And it goes back to what I said at the beginning, doesn't it? It goes back to when you pass somebody that you know and you go, are you mate, you are right? Yeah, not bad, how are you? Actually, they could be hanging out their ass. That's not swearing, is it? No. They could be hanging out their ass. So, you know, ask again.
instead of saying how are you, you okay, how are you feeling, how, how, how's things with you, are you good, are you doing okay, don't try and fix it, um, I'm a big believer in, in people can help you, um, but I think you essentially like your fixing comes from yourself um, or it comes from having a good therapist or it comes from if you need medication making sure that you're on the right medication um, from what I've gone through and like I say obviously all these views are my, my own I don't think someone else can fix you um, I really don't so you know don't think that you, you've got to fix somebody just sometimes being there is enough um, so you know these are the little handouts and if anybody wants these do let me know I can send you some out you can hand them out in your workplace um, you know it's it's time to make a, a change now and I don't just mean by posting you know World Mental Health Day come up and people was posting the back out and then you have a breakdown or somebody has a suicide attempt and there's a massive stigma around it. So we need to change that. And that's what Time to Change is all about. And I am very, very proud um, to be a part of it. I'm absolutely sweating, you know. I'm sweating. I can actually smell myself. I'm sweating that much. Just sat here now and the window's open as well. Um, okay, so I got given this from Time to Change, which is a free box of PG tips. I've not used it, so what I'm asking people to do is, is to share this video, yeah, um, and you will get this, and you will also get a free copy of Me, Myself and Bipolar Brenda, that's a right plug that isn't it, um, the journals of a happy soul with a chaotic mind, so I'm giving away a free book. Free book, yeah, with this in it. So you can sit down, put the kettle on, and get on the me, myself, and bipolar Brenda train. Um, I've also started a group for anybody that's interested in joining the group, and it's called Me and Bipolar Brenda, the tools to manage your mental health. I want a group where people can talk about things. Hi, hey Kundalini friend. Satnam, I met this woman randomly on, I hope I've got the right person now as I'm going to be real bad. I met you on Saturday, didn't I? Are you, and she does Kundalini and I was like, she does Kundalini. Um, so, um, and if you read my book, you'll know Kundalini is a massive, massive part of my mental health treatment. It's, it's huge for me, huge. And in my group, you'll probably find the group that I started actually was um, initially when I was teaching meditation classes to beginners. So a lot of the content in the actual group, do go and have a read of it because it's from when I was writing my meditation manuals. Um, but I've changed the group now um, for basically a mental health um, group for me, myself and Bipolar Brenda um, to basically share what works for you and for people to come and have a chat and say, you know what, I'm having a really bad day today. Has anybody got any tips of what I could do to make myself feel a bit better? Um, so the group is um, on Facebook. Much love. I've got a meditation for you, actually. I'll, um, I'll send it you across. I think I was talking about it. The meditation actually is in the group. Um, it's a healing meditation. Um, so I will, I will, that's actually posted actually, sorry. But do obviously join the group, you know, we want to get, we want to get people using tools to help them. Um, and, you know, if you've read it or if you do read it, you'll know that, you know, meditation and Kundalini Yoga is, is my go-to, um, as well as obviously powerlifting. So yeah, so, you know, share the video, you'll get a free copy of the book, signed copy, and your free box. I think I've got my sidekick walking in now. Have we got the sidekick? Here he is. Take that out of your mouth and shut the door. Right. So, yeah. 
So there you go. So just share obviously that and then once you've shared the video, Luke Chino. Why is it so cold? It's freezing because I'm having hot sweats, mate. It's freezing cold. Sweating. Where's the banner? No, I didn't put the banner up. Why? So what we're doing is yeah. People that share this video for time to change, yeah. I've been yeah. Watching it. You've been watching it. I've been watching it. Right. So what we're gonna do? Why have you not been um, replying been, to me? I have been replying. To no, you've not. I've not heard a single reply. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in the next 24, 48 hours at how many shares it's got to raise awareness for time to change. And I'm on the hundreds. Yeah. And then you are then gonna pick at random. Yes. A me. winner me, of me. who shared it. And we're going to give them a free copy. A free, free copy. We'll sign it. Yes. Yes. We'll sign it. And then we'll give them the free voucher we got from Time to Change Media Campaign. Beautiful PG. Beautiful PG. Who don't love a brew? Who don't love a brew? Um, okay, so that's it. So you know what's coming up for Time to Change. Put it in your diaries. 24th of February. The new campaign after this one is going to be, let's see the bigger picture, yeah? yeah? Anybody wants any material off me, please just inbox me. Um, or if you've got any questions or anything at all, just drop me an inbox, either via the group or my Facebook page, Little Tasha. Just drop me a message. Um, what's next for me, myself and Bipolar Brenda? Oh. So I am gonna do an audio book, that's in the process. What? 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 You know, you never told me. We've got to do an audio. Why? Because people want an audio. Yeah, and I know. I know these like. I know these. I know these um. Two by two by two pages. Two by two by two pages. So <laughs> people don't know where they're up to. Yeah, that's um, good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So. We don't want um. Yeah. Next for me, myself and Bipolar Brenda is um. I've kindly been asked to be a media ambassador for Bipolar UK um, and to be able to speak on behalf of them, which is absolutely amazing. Um, Bipolar UK is a massive charity, very much close to my heart, obviously. Um, and Simon Kitchen, the chief executive of Bipolar UK, obviously came to my launch um, and he's a lovely, lovely man. And we raised, you know, £380 in total um, for Bipolar UK from me, myself, and Bipolar Brenda, the book launch, which was huge and we're absolutely buzzing about that. It was huge. It was huge. Um, also as well, um, for people um, that do want to get their opinions across and stuff, please post it in my group because I'm very, very luckily been put in contact with the Health and Social Care Partnership for the Mental Health Programs for the NHS. And here's what I just realised. It says the six and guess what today's is? What's that? The six. The six? Yeah. You've just interrupted me. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse me. me. Um, so yeah, amazing opportunity for me um, to get my teeth into the NHS. I don't. No, I, I don't. I, don't like I love the NHS. Me too. Um, you know the the. They're very good. They're very no, they are, and it's like I said before, it's a funding, but it's going to give me an opportunity. They're doing a massive campaign. Um, the brilliant work what they do, um, the Health and Social Care Partnership for the Mental Health for the NHS. They were the ones that did the huge campaign last year about raising suicide awareness. This year, they're going for the Bipolar Disorder campaign. So Yay. I'm going to be doing some work with them also. Um, obviously, keep your eyes peeled. I will be doing um, my article for the Metro on behalf of Time to Change, which will be for their, obviously, like I said, see the bigger picture. Um, and yeah, oh, I will be on BBC Radio next month at some point. I will keep these up to date. I'm going to keep doing these videos as much as I can. Um, but I get a bit like doing them. Um, but if anybody's got any questions for me, anybody that's watching at the minute, do you want to kind of like get involved and maybe ask a question or we can get some kind of what you would say to somebody in mental health? Kelly Hollis is watching. Come on, Kel. I feel like Anthony Crank probably when he was presenting, you know, and then he's like, and we're just going to go live to, um, but yeah, if anybody's got any questions, just drop them in. Um, and if anybody wants any material, just obviously get in touch with me. Like I said, I'm going to try and do more of these videos, um, areas with his blanket. Yeah, um, but basically that's what's next. Um, like I said, please share the video, share it to your friends, share it to the groups. 
please hashtag time to change, time to talk day, yeah? Um, and six of the second, yeah. And 20. please, if you can start hashtagging, see the bigger picture as well. Um, when will you be doing the audio book? We'll do it soon. So I've got, um, very, very luckily got um, somebody who, who runs a podcast that's Who's offered it? for me. Jada. Oh, Jada, Jada. Jada, yeah. That um, is a fellow mental health warrior. Um, and who's, she has a bipolar? Um, she does. Yes. She does, yes. And anxiety? Um, and yes. The same? The same. Have? That's so, yeah, so odd. she's going to be helping me do the audio, um, which I will get done. Um, but it's just reliving it again, isn't it? Like, because I've, I've been told some, my auntie, one of my aunties has read the book and they said that they, they it's amazing, but they wish they would have known that they would have had a paracetamol at the, for the end of it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I did promise that I would read a little bit out my book part of the video and um, I'm going to try and have to find a bit that's got no swearing in it I'll try and I'll, so I'm going to let Luciano pages. choose a page for us right. to read I'm no chapter. swearing in it you better, I better be in this one all oh, right go on then he's picking his bit he's picking which bit he's in what, not his what, mother's daughter not his son's mother is it oh, I said that wrong Anna come on oh, people are watching we need give me a minute you can't do this on you, you can't do this on live tv which, which page am I in? I'll find it for you. Right, find me a page. Find the page, I'll okay. Read it. You can't read it, Mama, yeah. read it. No, I can read. Okay, so I'll read it. It was that. Lucky Luciano, yeah? But I don't, yeah, yeah. You call me Lucky Lewis, no one calls call Lucky Lewis. Um, so, um, d -d 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 -d. let's have a look here. I'm just gonna pick random because I can't find your bit. Yeah, I, I, no, no, because no, I no, let me choose. I know. Mom, mom. I'm gonna speak. Just I'm gonna pick at random. Mum, I've got good pages. No, I'll I've just. Read you can book. do it another time. I've already read the book. Right, the worst director in the world. Who? Right, I'm gonna read something positive because I want to end on a positive. I don't want everybody feeling like low when they come out. So, um. This is towards the end of my book and this is quite important to me On because it's my page. kundalini yoga and I love it. So it's don't try to stop them, keep the bad habits and addictions but keep doing kundalini yoga every day. Eventually they'll just fall away, yogi bhajan. <laughs> I waited to type the journal up of my Ibiza trip to my kundalini yoga retreat I did alone in 2019 as one of the last things to sit and write. Because for me, throughout all the darkness this year, this was such a special, beautiful time for me. IB fulfills my heart and soul and it teaches me so much for my higher self. If I had a 10 year plan, it would be to live on that magical island. I've done two amazing 40 day meditations this year with my LA tribe. When I said on my 30th birthday, I wanted to have more soul and less ego this year and do more Kundalini yoga, I can safely say I really have. I have worked and despite the darkness, I've appeared in a feature film, a BFI film, and I got myself back on stage. And I did one of the best performances of my life. And I've met some of the most amazing people I couldn't imagine my life without. Gobinde, Mukande, Udare, Apare, Haryan, Karyan, Niname, Akame. Mm -hmm. A mantra which means sustainer, liberator, enlightener, infinite, destroyer, creator, nameless and desireless. According to Yogi Bhajan, this mantra is used to cleanse the subconscious and, and break through deep-rooted blocks. It was the one I did on my first 40-day meditation, and I love it. But the word that meant the most to me, that sums up my year, was the destroyer, Haryan. On one of my many classes on my Kundalini Yoga retreat this year, Siri Dharma, my Kundalini Yoga teacher, said to me, to recreate, you have to destroy. I asked for more soul and less ego this year, which to get to that, I have to destroy to recreate myself. So I went back to Ibiza all alone. And as I mentioned last time, it was a large group. Mm -hmm. This time it was just me and a Dutch lady. I was worried it was the universe following my thoughts of whether I should become a lesbian. As I don't think I mentioned, I went on Tinder one night this year and decided maybe I would be better with a woman. I've questioned everything this year. So it's probably only right I was questioning if men were for me. The retreat was the best six days I've had this year. It really was. I got so much out of it. 
I thank the Lord. It wasn't all raw vegan food. The veggie food this time was amazing. I was happy to see Siri Dharma again. I have said before, he's one of those people that just see me, the real me. I like that. It was a small group because I got to spend a lot of time with him. I think it was meant to be that I was just in a small group. I'm going to leave it there and if you want to read on. No, I'm joking. Um, but I just wanted to end this video on a positive and obviously for me, and through this have book. A good evening. Oh, that's very nice. I know. And you've done amazing today in school, haven't yes, you? Yes, I've been. I've been I've, I don't want to share it to Facebook. But no, but you've been amazing, yes, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. But have a good evening. Have a good evening. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to finish it on that, but obviously like, you know, I've got a lot of stuff, I'm involved in a lot of, of, of things now for mental health, which was my aim. Can I just say from the bottom of my heart as well, some of the comments that I'm getting regarding the book, um, you know, I went to hell and back writing this, I'm not even going to lie. Um, and the thing is, I just want to say to people, you know what, if you've got a story, yeah, get a journal, and I'm going to keep saying this, every video I do, every interview I do, I'm going to plug, buy yourself a journal. You can even do it on your phone now. You can even do it, and, and I think if I do write another book, which I don't know, but if yeah. I do, I'll be doing the speaking into the phone thing, because it was typing up that took me most of the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, buy a journal, share your story, because you know what? I've had people telling me that, you know, it's got them out of dark places. It could have And it was my light because it allowed me to let go of everything. Um, and I'm still coming up against hurdles. I'm, you know, hurdles with daddy daycare, aren't we? I'm, 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 I'm. And, you know, it's going to keep coming, but life is a learning curve, isn't it? And, you know, it's we all go through stuff. I didn't swear, didn't swear, I just, didn't want, swear. I just want to say a shout out. Um, just a second, um, but yeah, um, thank you very, very much for watching. Please, please share this video for Time to Change. Hashtag Time to Change, hashtag, hashtag Time to Talk Day, yeah? But let's do more. Let's not just talk, let's do more. Let's get more books in 2020 about yeah. mental health. You, you need to be on the stage, you. Me? I'm not even, I'm not Do you want even... to wish everybody a good evening and give your shout out to Nana? Yeah. Um, I, I, I shout out to um, Lorraine Ray because she's honestly, I'm not, I'm not joking, but she's helped you, me, and the dog all <laughs> over times. But have a good evening, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Lucky Luciano. Oh. High five. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, share the video, hashtag, and in 48 hours we will pick somebody at random. If we get 2,000 shares on this, yeah, we will pick somebody at random for a signed copy and the free PG is it tips. School, is it on school hours? And we'll do it on school hours. No, 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 no. I Good do night. It. God I bless. Do.